Mirshia the Elder was ruler of Wallachia from 1386 until his death. The byname Elder was given to him after his death in order to distinguish him from his grandson Mirshia II. Starting in the 19th century, Romanian historiography has also referred to him as Mirshia the Great. Family background and heirs Mirshia was the son of Voivode Radu I of Wallachia and Lady Kaulinaishia, thus being a descendant of the House of Bajarab. He was the father of Vlad II Dracul and Alexander Ialdia, and grandfather of Mirshia II, played Angstrom Centipe, played Carl Florin Luger Florin Rill and Radu the Handsome. All of these would at one time or the other rule Wallachia, with Mirshia II and Vlad Angstrom Centipe both being able military commanders. Historical importance Mirshia's reign is often considered to have brought stability to Wallachia. Found in a volatile region of the world, this principality's borders constantly shifted, but during Mirshia's rule, Wallachia controlled the largest area in its history, from the southern Carpathians in the north to the Danube in the south, and from today's Iron Gates on the Danube in the west to the Black Sea in the east. Mirshia strengthened the power of the state and organized the different high offices, promoted economic development, increased the state's revenue, and minted silver money that enjoyed wide circulation not only inside the country but also in neighboring countries. He gave the merchants of Poland and Lithuania trade privileges and renewed those his predecessors had given to the people of Braunov. As a result, Mirshia was able to afford increasing his military power. He fortified the Danube citadels and strengthened the great army made up of townspeople and of free and dependent peasants. He also proved to be a great supporter for the Eastern Orthodox Church. While organizing the country and its institutions, Mirshia also formed a system of lasting alliances which enabled him to defend the independence of the country. Through the intermediary of Petru Murat, the Prince of Moldavia, he concluded a treaty of alliance with Wardislaw II J.G.A. Angstromo, King of Poland in 1389. The treaty was renewed in 1404 and 1410. He fought in the Battle of Kosovo, on the side of the Serbians. He maintained close relations with Sigismund of Luxembourg, the King of Hungary, relying on their common interest in the struggle against Ottoman expansion. Conflicts with the Ottoman Empire his interventions in support of the Bulgarians south of the Danube who were fighting against the Turks brought him into conflict with the Ottoman Empire. In 1394, Bayezid I crossed the Danube River, leading 40,000 men, an impressive force at the time. Mir Shia had only about 10,000 men so he could not survive an open fight. He chose what today is called a guerrilla warfare by starving the opposing army and using small, localized attacks and retreats. On October 10, 1394, the two armies finally clashed at the Battle of Ravin, which featured a forested and swampy terrain, thus preventing the Ottomans from properly spreading their army. Mir Shia finally won the fierce battle and threw the Ottomans out of the country. This famous battle was later epically described by the poet Maya Mir Nescu in his third epistle. However, Mir Shia had to retreat to Hungary, while the Turks installed Vlad Azerpatrul on the throne of Wallachia. In 1396, Mir Shia participated in an anti-Ottoman crusade started by Hungary's monarch. The crusade ended with the Ottoman victory at the Battle of Nicopolis on September 25. In the next year, 1397, Mir Shia, having defeated Vlad the Usurper with Hungarian help, stopped another Ottoman expedition that crossed the Danube and in 1400 he defeated yet another expedition of Turks crossing the country. The defeat of Sultan Bayezid I by Timurlenk at Ankara in the summer of 1402 opened a period of anarchy in the Ottoman Empire and Mir Shia took advantage of it to organize together with the Hungarian king a campaign against the Turks. In 1404 Mir Shia was thus able to impose his rule on Dobroja again. Moreover, Mir Shia took part in the struggles for the throne of the Ottoman Empire and enabled Musa to ascend that throne. It was at this time that the prince reached the height of his power. Towards the end of his reign, Mir Shia signed a treaty with the Ottomans. In return for a tribute of 3,000 gold pieces per year, the Ottomans desisted from making Wallachia a province. Slavery Mir Shia the Elder is the first in the region to deal with slaves giving 300 gypsy dwellings to a monastery in 1388. 
cultural importance, the bravest and ablest of the Christian princes, as he was described by German historian Leon Clavius, ruled Wallachia for 32 years. Apart from his military success, Mir Shia was an art lover, leaving among other monuments, the beautiful Kosia Monastery, built after the model of the Kreuzvac Church. In popular culture, equals film equals, Mir Shia was played by Sergeant Nicolaescu in the 1989 film Mir Shia, which was also directed by Nicolaescu. See also Notes References Romanian, Bogdan Petrisicu Horstiu, Historia Critica Florina Roma Sent Nila, Vol. I, Bucharest, 1875, Romanian, A.D. Zenopol, Historia Roma Sent Nila Din de Citriana Florin, Vol. I, I.R.E., 1889, Romanian, Nicolo Ioga, Studii Y.I. Document cu Privia la Historia Roma Sent Nila, Vol. 3, Bucharest, 1901, Romanian, Constantin C. J. Urescu, Historia Roma Sent Nila, Vol. I, Bucharest, 1938.